America's military strategy has been adrift since the end of the Cold War. With the absence of the Soviet threat, where does American foreign policy go from here? To imagine our future, AEI senior fellow Giselle Donnelly argues that we must first understand our past. In her groundbreaking book, Empire Imagined, Donnelly discovers the origins of the United States' distinct approach to war and military power originated during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. First of all, the Elizabethans were globalists. Imperial expansion and exploitation was reordering the European balance of power. However, England had become a bone for dogs, lagging well behind Spain. The Tudor regime was weak in the 16th century. Queen Elizabeth's writ barely extended across England. Scotland and Ireland were open doors to foreign intervention. Elizabeth I was also a monarch of doubtful legitimacy and the Virgin Queen could not produce a dynastic successor. She was a lone woman at the pinnacle of a world made by men. Yet, despite these perilous circumstances, the Queen imagined a powerful empire that would secure England's liberties, faith, and prosperity. Elizabeth I believed success was in the American colonies. The way westward was the way forward. This imperial impulse was the original foundation of America's military strategy. We have since transformed the American experiment several times, while remaining true to its core principles. In war and military strategy, we should know our enemies. But to prevail, we must first know ourselves. Offering a unique perspective on America's role in the world, Empire Imagined, the first of four volumes on the origins of American military strategy, is on sale now.